Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So does price matter? Does brand matter? Does the speed of your RAM matter? Does the type of RAM matter? Well, all right. Let's keep this as simple as possible, shall we? It doesn't matter how much or how little you pay for RAM for your computer. Also, it doesn't matter what brand you buy, okay? Makes no difference. However, what does matter are things like the type of RAM. Does your computer use DDR2, DDR3, DDR4? That's extremely important, okay? You have to know what exact version of RAM your computer uses. You also need to know the speed because you don't want to intermix speeds. So you don't want to have, you know, fast RAM and then add slow RAM. Because basically what happens is the faster RAM gets slowed down to the slower RAM speeds, but then it causes you all kinds of other grief um, as things progress. Like, you know, your computer is going to run slower or um, it's going to have freeze ops or you're going to get periodic blue screens of death and... You know, although this used to be a normal thing just on normally set up systems at one point in time, yeah, it kind of shouldn't happen, right? So you got to make sure that that speed is correct, that the, the chips match, okay? So each stick of RAM must match the correct speed and the correct type. You can intermix brands. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, one thing I would say to caution you on would be how many chips are on, the, on each stick. This Kingston RAM in this package um, is actually um, single-sided uh, RAM. Now, it is 2400 megahertz um, DDR4, okay, and each stick is 8 gigs. Now, you also do have to make sure, too, how much RAM your computer does support in total. I mean, Windows can support, well, Windows 11, Windows 10, they can support a lot of RAM in a computer, but your computer manufacturer does have a maximum limit to how much RAM that that computer can actually go to, okay? So you need as much information as you can get about your own individual computer, right? Because they're not all the same, right? Um, you know, one of the, the examples I like to use is my HP laptop. You know, I mean, they make six different versions of the exact same case, same screen, same everything, just that the main motherboard guts inside are different. Different processor in there, different... Uh, RAM. It could be, um, you know, the, it could be the, the, the actual real video card in there, or it could just all run off system RAM to share it, right? Um, and if it has its own video card, well, it could also be as well sharing system RAM if it needs it. It'll use it and it allots a certain amount based on how much um, main RAM you have in your computer. Now, I will also do recommend this that regardless of um, Windows 10 or Windows 11, okay, the current operating systems for Windows people, don't have less than 16 gigabytes of RAM in your computer as a base user or even a kind of a middle of the road user. Um, 32 gigs of RAM is definitely where you want to be if you're a gamer, okay? And you really don't need more than 32 gigs of physical RAM, all right? But to each their own, put in what you want as long as your computer supports it do whatever you like. Um, but try and at least not have less than 16 gigs of RAM because, yeah, Windows, it, it wants a lot of RAM. Um, they're actually upwards to almost 8 gigabytes of RAM now on, on Windows 11. And I'm like, wow, like not even two weeks ago we were talking about this same thing. And I was only using 6.9 gigs of RAM. Now I'm using like, you know, 7 point something gigs of RAM. And I'm like, yeah, Windows updates, they keep coming. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's very important that, you know, you make sure you don't put too big of a RAM chip in there because if it's not going to support it, there's no point. Okay. You also have to know how many RAM slots you have. Now it's pretty f simple and easy to find on a desktop computer. Pull the side cover off there. You'll know how many slots are there. Okay. How many are open? How many are not open slots? So you'll know, right? And you got to stick in accordance with, you know, what RAM your processor is going to support of the type of RAM that you're going to use in the speeds as well, right? Well, that all information is on, usually on the manufacturer's website. Um, your computer is only going to tell you so much, like limitations, right? Laptops are a real bit of a pain because manufacturers don't tend to tell us how many RAM slots are in there, okay? Now, thankfully with HP, at least they have this program that comes pre-installed 
called Support Assistant, and it gets you a lot of information on your computer, including access to drivers and updates specific to that computer, um, as well as many other things that that assistant does for you. Um, it does tell you how fast your processor is, what generation it actually is, because, I mean, the sticker says, well, Intel Core i3. Mm, okay, well, that's... Um, what is it? Is it two, four? How many gigahertz? How many cores? You know, well, that information can be found within your computer. Okay, it's not a big deal. But when it comes to the actual uh, RAM slots, it came up with, when I bought it, it had 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, 3200 megahertz. Okay, so we know that's DDR4, obviously. Um, so... I thought, all right, well, it didn't list any other memory slots that were even empty. It just, memory slot, right? And I'm thinking, oh man, that might suck. <laughs> well, I could jam a single 16 in, I suppose, you know. But then I thought, okay, well, we got to take this thing apart anyways, because we want to upgrade the, the drive, maybe. I wasn't going to, but then I thought, might as well, you know. And uh, we went through all this in other videos, if you've been watching the channel, so you'll know exactly what's gone down with this thing. Um... So I thought, all right, well, that, that's fine. So you crack it open. Hey, guess what? There's two slots in there. So I filled them both up with eight gig sticks, right? And I matched the RAM too, which I think is very important that you match the RAM. So if you've got eight, eight, um, eight chips and it's single-sided RAM like this, okay? Don't mix it with a stick of RAM that has double-sided, um, so eight on each side right? Because this RAM here runs hotter than RAM that has double-sided, okay? So you want to make sure that that stuff all matches up properly because of temperature control, right? Because once this RAM reaches a certain temperature, it can throttle, right? And that's not good for performance. And But your other chips have eight and they're not throttling because they're still running nice and cool. And that's the problem. It's going to cause a lot of crashes, bugs, slowdowns, bogs. It could cause any kind of thing. So you want to make sure that if it, if you are keeping, say, these in because you have four slots, replace them with single-sided RAM as well that has eight chips across the front, nothing on the back. Replace with the same, in other words, okay? It doesn't have to be the same brand, but it does have to be the same setup, okay? Or it should be the same setup, okay? <laughs> this avoids problems, and gamers know this, okay, especially gamers. They know they have to make sure everything is totally matched properly uh, to get the top performance. Now, the other thing I would recommend, too, is even if you are only doing a small RAM upgrade, find out what the fastest speed of RAM your particular computer can run and get that faster speed and have make sure all your RAM chips are at that particular speed. Because remember... If you get faster RAM and mix it with slower, yes, the faster RAM gets slowed down, but it causes crashes, bugs, and all kinds of crap. You want to make sure that each chip is the exact same speed. It doesn't have to be the same brand, but it should be the same speed of RAM, same type of RAM, as well as the same amount of chips on either side of the stick, okay, for best optimal results. So these are just very important things to note, okay? Um... As far as, you know, going on to Amazon, checking out RAM, go for it. There's an FAQ area. Don't ask people like, will this work in this laptop or this desktop? Nobody has an answer for you because they likely don't have the same system you do, right? And again, even my HP comes in several different models of the same damn thing. And not all of them use the same speed of RAM or the same amount of RAM capable at that, okay? So that's another thing to consider, right? And not all of HP laptops um, use NVMEs. They might by now, but, you know, I had the, the draw where I had an SSD in there. Um, and there, I can't remember if I had the availability for an NVMe or not. But this one is all NVMe, uh, which is great because it's on the board. I can use super fast drives and the thing friggin' rocks like a bullet, okay? Um, my Asus Top, right? It's got two RAM slots. That's it. Okay, now I've got 32 gigs of RAM in there. I can actually go to 64 gigs of RAM if I want. How much higher can I go? I don't know, but I only know so much. 
without calling ASUS and saying, look, this is the exact model number and serial number I have of the ASUS Tough 17. You manufactured it, this one in 2022, not 2021. Even though it was released for 2021, mine was made in 2022. And because I have this, can you tell me what is the maximum size of RAM I can use for gigabytes of RAM and what is the maximum speed above 3200 or can I use above 3200 megahertz RAM okay so I know that's what it came with was 3200 right from the factory I bought the thing brand new so I know what speed it uses but can it use faster these are questions that only the manufacturer can answer and you're best to call them email is pointless because it could be days could be weeks could be months before they even get back to you because they're always busy. So it's easier to get somebody on the phone. Um, and that's what I tend to do is I call the company, you know, it's, it's less hassle, right? And, um, and most of them have 1-800 numbers anyways. So it doesn't cost you anything for the phone call. So anyway, um, my HP computer, that's a little bit of a different boat. I mean, it has limitations, obviously like any other computer and to find out any information above board, I'm going to need to call them because, you know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing if I could put an even faster NVMe drive in there. Not that I really need it, but you got to have some fun once in a while. Right. And besides, if I can go faster and then I can get something faster than what's in there now, then I can tell you guys and then you don't have to call them. Right. And that's kind of the thing. Right. But when I get to it, I'll get to it. It's not going to be anytime soon. So, you know, but. When you go in on Amazon and you ask questions about RAM or this or that, nobody's going to have an answer. I'm constantly replying. Amazon always sends me this, can you answer the question for this customer about this RAM? And I'm like, oh, not again. You know, one guy, you know, he's he's got an iMac, right? And he actually, first time I got a guy with a Mac. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Mac guys. I love Mac guys. <laughs> PC's fine too. But the Mac guy says, I have a 2019 iMac. Okay, um, you want to be a little more specific on your model of iMac, right, from 2019? Because um, I don't know if he's got a 27 or if it's a 21 and a half. I mean, if it's a 21 and a half, he's screwed. There's no upgrading the RAM. But if it's a 27, it's guaranteed he can upgrade the RAM. Now, does he have an iMac or does he have an iMac Pro? He didn't specify. And there is a difference. The Pro can handle more RAM, right? And uh, so it's like, oh, good grief. I says, I'll tell you what, it, as long as you're running Monterey and below, just go to the Apple in the top left corner, okay, and select um, about this Mac. And it'll tell you right there how fast your RAM is. And that's going to give you an indication of whether or not this RAM is going to work, okay? Um, because even if your Mac does use 3200 megahertz RAM, it's automatically DDR4. So any DDR4 RAM that is 32 megahertz should work just fine for you. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Now, on certain Mac models, there is specific RAM made for specific model year of certain Macs, and they do list it with even Timtech. All right. So, but there are Macs that, nope, it doesn't matter. And this is one of those, those iMacs where you know, as long as he has the correct speed, he's fine. Um, and that correct speed would indicate to him automatically if it's going to be DDR2 or DDR3. Okay, so he would be fine that way. But somebody else with a different iMac, maybe even a year different. Okay, that's going to be Mac specific RAM you got to look at through time tech. See if they have it. And if they don't have it because it's not in stock or they just don't carry it, then you're going to have to try Crucial RAM or Kingston, especially Kingston. Kingston carries RAM for everything in Apple, okay? And um, where it is actual specific, right? Which doesn't happen too often, but it has been done. You know, that's the thing. So you got to kind of research your own system, man, because nobody's going to give you an answer. I'm not going to give you an answer because I don't have one. I also don't have the time to go out and research every single computer that pops in my face from Amazon going, okay, but the thing is, and people don't even give me enough information to go on. You know, like I have a Lenovo and, and it's like a 15 inch and will this RAM work? No, I have no idea. 
I don't have a product number. I don't have a serial number to go by. Um, I don't even own your computer. I mean, seriously. I mean, I can't tell you unless it's in front of me what the heck you can or can't use in that thing, right? And I actually have to answer this way. Same as people with HPs, because I mean, we know the HP thing, all right? Um, Asus, it doesn't matter what company. It's There's so many things out there and so many differences, right? So why these questions actually get asked of, why will this work? Look, here's how I'm going to tell you if it'll work or not. Crack open your computer, pull out the chip that's in there, pump in the numbers off of it, unless it already says DDR3, and it doesn't matter if it has an L or not, it makes no difference. DDR3, 2400 megahertz, okay? Or DDR4, 2400 megahertz, or 3200 megahertz. That's about the only catch-22 you get because you can get DDR3 uh, and 24 as well as in DDR4. And so DDR4 and DDR3, you can get in 2400 megahertz. And it's like, okay, mm that's where we can get into a bit of a hiccup. So we have to know, do we have two or three? Because that makes a difference, right? So it's like, okay, well, here we go across the boat line again. I need you to just rip apart your computer and find that info for yourself. Type in the information off the stick unless it says specific. If it says DDR3, you buy DDR3. Now, as far as the speed goes, either go with the speed that's in there, because I don't know the fastest speed yours is going to go. So you might want to just call the manufacturer and say, how fast a RAM can I use in this? And if you can use above 2400 or whatever, then say, okay. Now, how big a stick can I use in this machine? And then you go with that. But don't you dare stick in... A faster RAM chip with a slower RAM chip because you are going to get problems okay big thing make sure everything matches up so the type of RAM of DDR type of DDR the speed must also match all chips and like I said I would definitely recommend making sure if it's single-sided RAM only search out single-sided RAM if it's double-sided RAM which is actually better and runs cooler and performs much smoother, okay, then just forget about looking at single-sided RAM and find the double-sided RAM chips, okay, and just order a set, and then you're done, okay? So type, speed, and double-sided RAM. That's, that's my advice, but also you have to get a hold of the manufacturer to find out what your memory can max out to in your computer, because just because Windows 11... Uh, you know, it, it probably can access, I don't know how many gigabytes or terabytes of memory in total. But that doesn't mean your computer can do that, okay? Your computer has an upper limit of how much RAM it can access, regardless of what Windows 10 or Windows 11 can actually access in the real world on powerful machines. You don't likely have that powerful machine. So you need to find out what yours can actually handle, okay? Anyways, that's pretty much about covers it, but if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Just don't ask me, will this work in this machine? I haven't got a clue, and yeah, you need to do your own homework on that one. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.